Well, let's uh, take it to Japan because uh, we have day one for the new finance minister, Naoto Khan, and already he seems to be uh, the new champion of exporters because he says he's not going to tolerate the strong yen, just like his predecessor, Mike Fern, uh, has more. So, Mike, did it, his words have any effect on the Japanese currency? <laughs> Wouldn't it be great, Susan, if you or I could just say like three or four words and have an impact on the global financial market? Well, maybe you can, but I can't. No one listens to me. <laughs> uh, but at his first news conference in the job, Naoto Khan addressed the issue of a strong yen which has been cutting the value of Japanese exports. I hope currency markets correct themselves further, weakening the yen. The Japanese currency fell nearly 1% immediately after he spoke and it continued to weaken to a four-month low against the dollar on speculation. U.S. job losses have eased, which is a dollar positive yen currently at uh, 93.54. Now, Can may not be as fast to achieve his other goals. He says he wants to use budget policy to stop Japan slipping back into recession, but the strategy may take at least four months to draw up. The cabinet will need to set it up. Last year, we decided to present the midterm financial framework together with the budget proposal for multiple fiscal years around May or June this year. Now, Naoto Kan is also Deputy Prime Minister, a job he's held for four months, and during that time, he has been pushing the Bank of Japan to do more to fight deflation. He also says the government will work with the central bank on the yen's level.